Okay, this next part is going to be a little complicated and I'm actually going to be working on positioning article, aside, and also footer. And here's what's going on. On the home and web deep page, we have an article and an aside. But on the project page, we only have an article. All the pages, of course, have a footer. And so we're going to need to make a class to handle those two cases for article. If you don't have an aside, then you want it to span across the whole 960 pixels, the entire space available to you. You don't want to cut it off short. So since there's two, we're going to use a class. And I am going, there's many different ways to position things. I'm going to be using a float here, which means I'll be floating things and I'm going to choose to the left. So let's go over to brackets. And the first thing I am going to do is to create after nav and before footer, just put a placeholder for article, the article selector. And because the text was right up next to the all the way to the edge of the box, I'm going to choose to put in a little padding on the left and right, not, not on the top or bottom. So I'm going to set the padding and I'm going to use a compound zero for top and bottom and 10 pixels for left and right. I'm going to choose to do the same padding for a side. And I haven't moved anything or set widths around yet, but let's set the aside padding to be the same. And for the footer, no, going back to the aside, I'm going to, to distinguish it from the main article. I'm also going to change the background color. So you can tell that we're, when we're looking at the aside. Color. which is a slightly lighter shade. It's actually the same shade as the nav bar text. And for the footer, I will also change its background color. Okay, so I just played with padding for, I set up selectors for article and aside. For footer, I changed the background color. And I'm also going to be centering the footer as well. The text in there. Text align to center. And I should set the padding as well. Let's set the padding. I want, I think, a little bit less 
because it's at the bottom. It's not, I don't want to necessarily bring extra attention to it. So I'll make it five pixels all around. I will also set the font size just a little bit smaller. This And then let's go ahead and take a look. And when I refresh, I can see that here's my main article, my bucket list. I mean, my aside content is has a slightly different colored background. And so does my footer and the footer is very small and also centered and I have a little padding on the left and right sides, margins to the left and right. And we can double check to make sure that it took effect on the other pages as well. Yes, it did. And now what I want to do with the article home and web d both have articles and asides project does not so i'm going to create a new class for the home the articles on home and web d and i'm what i'm going to want to do is i'm going to want to float those elements left and I'm going to set a width. So let's do that. Actually, let us do that in the next video. This is just setting up for the, so right now we are just setting up, we had just set up the colors for, for the, asides and the article and footer. Oh, one other thing, since we're doing a little cleanup stuff on the header, the H2 element for the article, I mean, for the aside, I think I want to make it the same color as this, but I don't want to do all H2s because I don't want to do the ones for WebD, only on the asides. So let's do that first and go to brackets. So I want to change the H2, the color of the H2. which is currently nothing. I want to, I want it to set the color the same as here. So I'm going to copy that color. I'm going to make a, the H2 under article. I'm, I'm sorry, aside. And just change the color there. And now if I look at my web page, you can, aside, oh, I think I, okay, so it didn't take effect, see? So I did something wrong. And it's because I said dot H2 and I just meant H2. So that's something that you can use the validator to help you find. Now, when I refresh this page, now you see, or maybe you don't, this one turned the correct shade of, of blue. So you have to be very careful. You want to use the validator on, in, unless you're, unless you remember just what you did. Okay. 
Next video, we'll be moving, floating things left and right.